Well, tonight the Oakland Raiders have a new head coach. That's right. The announcement comes two days after the 49ers announced their new head coach. And Vern Glenn is here uh, with how Jack Del Rio plans to turn things around for the silver and black. The first time I saw him, it's one thing to see him on TV. You see him in person. The dude's six foot yeah, five. I mean, he oh, is thick. linebacker. Yeah, intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was something. Hey, from scarlet and gold yesterday to silver and black today, Jack Del Rio makes it nine Raider head coaches since Oakland's last winning season of 2002 and second with homegrown roots in that time span. Now, the Hayward High School's three sports star arrives in Oakland after three years as the defensive coordinator in Denver. He previously was the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars for nine seasons, 03 to 2011, two playoff appearances during his South Florida tenure. Del Rio has always had the East Bay teams on his radar, and today he said he hopes the Raiders can match the success of the team playing next door to the Coliseum. The Warriors are playing pretty good right now, and here come the Raiders. <laughs> As a community, um, I, I take great pride in, in the performance of the Bay Area teams. I mean, in particular, the East Bay. And, uh, <laughs> and so I'm an East Bay guy. You can't be one or the other. <laughs> I mean, you have to be one or the other. You can't be both. Don't tell me you're both. I don't want to hear you're both. So you're, you know, I'm an East Bay guy and uh, have always been an East Bay guy. All right, now, so uh, Ken and Liz, I mean, it's one thing. I've always thought anybody can say the right things in a press conference. So I sat him down to find out what he was really like. Got it. And that interview is next hour. That is a tease. Yep. <laughs> Hang on to something. All right, can't wait for that. <laughs> Thanks, Bird. Straight ahead in sports, it's a silver and black Friday. There is a big job in front of us, but I am fired up for it. His old boss wasn't out of work for long. And did the Giants find an outfielder? We got answers in 10 minutes. NFL up top, it's Silver and Black Friday. Jack Del Rio was introduced as the Raiders head coach today. The Hayward High School product grew up a fan of all three teams that call Oakland home instead of those other guys across the bay. I'm an East Bay guy. You can't be one or the other. <laughs> I mean, you have to be one or the other. You can't be both. Don't tell me you're both. I don't want to hear you're both. Yeah, Del Rio became the ninth head coach in the last 13 years for Oakland. He previously was the defensive coordinator for the Broncos, and before that, Jacksonville's head coach for nine seasons from 03 to 2011, linebacker for 10 NFL seasons, starred at USC. We had a moment during his homecoming. The Raiders' new head coach. How does that, how does that hit you, especially as a Bay Area guy? Honestly, it's still setting in, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it's overwhelming the love the Raider Nation has poured out. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the heck out of that. Um, I can't believe I'm home. I can't believe I'm home, but I'm, I'm really fired up with this opportunity. As, as much as the guys would want to, you know, text you and hang out and tell the old stories, you got a, you got a football team to rebuild. Huh? Amen to that. I've got a lot of work to do, uh, and so it's, it's not a reunion. Uh, it is a, a job. And uh, there is a big job in front of us, but I am fired up for it. I mean, to be able to come back and do it in this setting, mm -hmm. uh, East Bay, which I'm an East Bay guy, I love it. And uh, to be able to come back here and, and try to, not try to, to restore the pride, uh, I'm really excited about that. Well, it's been a long time since we've had some, some winning time around this facility. You know, realize if you go out and do that, you may never pay for a meal again around here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to make sure that we do everything mm -hmm. possible mm -hmm. to make my brothers, my, my parent, my dad, my, my friends, the Raider Nation, everybody in the Raider Nation prop. As a defensive coordinator for Denver, I mean, you saw these guys twice a year. Did, yeah. did, did you ever, maybe outside of the scheme and the game plan, think to yourself, if I was running that ball club, i do this, i do this, i do that. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I did. But now uh, I get a chance to do that. So um, at one point in time, it was a dream. This, this is a dream job uh, to be able to come back here and lead this great franchise. And uh, 
And so, yeah, dream came true. All right, you hear that, Raider Nation? He is here to bring it back, and it's probably the probably the last time we'll see him in a $2,000 suit here at the facility. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, full interview coming up Sunday night in game day. 49ers business, Jim Tom Sula got the nod over Mike Shanahan for head coach, but that doesn't mean the old coach won't be on the payroll. Reportedly, Shanahan could be the Niners' offensive coordinator under Tom Sula. Now, that's pressure on the head coach. Shanahan was the 49ers' offensive coordinator when they won the Super Bowl over the Chargers. That's Super Bowl 29. Mike's son, Kyle, was another rumored candidate for the same job. Another report states that Kyle said no thanks because he knew his dad was a candidate. Hey, John Fox, another former Broncos head coach, wasn't out of work for long. Four days before the announcement came that Fox will be the new head coach of the Chicago Bears. Fox had three straight 12-win seasons, won the AFC West in each of his four seasons in Denver, led them to the Super Bowl last year. The Falcons and the Broncos are the only team still shopping for a head coach. And if you can't beat them, join them. After losing to the Giants in the World Series as a member of the Royals, outfielder Nori Aoki has reportedly agreed to a one-year near $5 million deal with San Francisco. Aoki, not a power hitter. He'll find some holes for hits. One home run. He will likely take Michael Moore's spot in the outfield. So, uh -huh. Giants fans, see you got, got a little news there. Very cool. Right. Del Rio, the real deal. He is the man. All right. Thanks, Vern. News throughout the evening. The latest always on KPIX.com. Have a good night. For sports, you're going to need an expert in the house, mm -hmm. and we have one. Here he is. Yeah. Well, I, I claim to be. Yes. How about that? Oh, huh? no, you do beautiful. I've known <laughs> you long enough, yeah. Nice tie, by the way. Thank you. I like Give me that too. tie. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these two. Yeah. Fashionistas. Hey, I said it at 5.30. I'm going to say it again. Happy 73rd birthday to Muhammad Ali. And on the back end, I got a feeling the champ would enjoy these highlights. Hey, we take a break from the old football highlights on Saturday and take it indoors. Basketball front and center. And we start in Santa Clara, Levy Center. USF Dons and the Broncos for the 215th time. Great start, Broncos. Brandon Clark from the corner. And one. Seven to nothing in the early lead. Clark had 23 later in the half. Tight game. Chris Adams, the perimeter bucket, gave the Dons the lead. But the Broncos said, all right, that's enough. Up 14. Jordan Brownridge right to the rack. He had 18, and Santa Clara won at 70-64. They are 3-4 and four in the West Coast Conference, while the Dons fall to 2-5. and five. Duke went to 6 rank Louisville and just smacked around Rick Pitino's Cardinals. After two straight losses, Duke ran a clinic. Here's the inside job. It's Amil Emil Jefferson, rebound and stick back. He had 19. They took a 12-point lead and made it look easy. Jaheel Okafor, excuse me. 6'11 freshman. How'd you like to feed him, man? Yeah. Shashevsky's Devils won final of 63 to 52. Arizona coach Rich Rodriguez showing the love. Utah in black was not. Eighth ranked and look at every part of it. Delon Wright. Brandon Taylor for the three. It's 10 to 2. Uh oh. Over the 10th ranked Wildcats took over. Stanley Johnson still. And a freshman finishes it off with a slam. They win at 69-51. First Pac-12 game between top 10 teams in seven years. Now here comes number one unbeaten Kentucky. And this just in. They're really good. At Alabama, we call this a throwdown. Carl Anthony Towns, cats up 11. Second half, Kentucky can do it beyond the arc too. Devin Booker. Falling down and he hit. Kentucky relentless attack. A 70-48 final. Cats are 17 and 0. The other Tony Bennett. Coaches my team, my school, second rank Virginia. An upset-minded Boston College. Eagles up five after Olivier Hanlon did his thing. But UVA is 17 and 0 for a reason. How about a back Archie? Damn! From Anthony Gill. 66-51 final. Cavaliers. Best start since my freshman year when ATMs and MTV were new. 
NFL know when it comes to representation, UC Berkeley can certainly pop its collar in Sunday's NFC Championship game. Packers and Seahawks, two former Bears, will play a huge role in that game. Green Bay's Aaron Rodgers and Seattle back Marshawn Lynch will face off tomorrow in the Pacific Northwest. Now, Lynch and Rodgers are played together in Berkeley only one season, but even as teammates, Lynch wanted to compete against his quarterback. I used to always challenge me in throwing competitions, and uh, I won't say I beat him every single time because he's got a heck of an arm uh, distance-wise, uh, not accuracy. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, he was a great, uh, great teammate. We had a lot of fun. Oakland guy, so he loved uh, being in the Bay Area and uh, uh, representing for his city, as he used to say. And now, time for something really different. It's been called the Tesla of the Sea, energy efficient. And it's coming next week. Solar is all wet, sort of. Come aboard the 33-foot Green Line Hybrid. She's got solar panels above the cockpit, and simply put, that stores the energy uh, under the sun, mm -hmm. and it goes into a battery, no different than your laptop battery, and uh, that powers the whole house and the propulsion. All green, all electric. One of the stars of the January 22nd San Francisco Boat Show. The current wants me to go that way, but I, I'm trying to go against the current. Exactly. Okay. So now you're doing it. Yeah. If this knucklehead can steer it, anyone can. And you can control that with the iPad as well. What? iPad? If you can play a video game, you can sail this vessel. She's got the usual bells and whistles you might find in a Bond movie. And with this iPad feature... If you're in the middle of nowhere, you can still watch your Giants games, your 49ers, your Raiders, your Sharks, your That's Warriors. It. You, can, you can catch it catch it all. Absolutely. We even got Apple TV. So if you want to catch up on Mad Men or, you know, Game of Thrones, you can do that as well. So. Or a KPIX5 newscast. <laughs> That's it. KPIX. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> all right. Hey, let's get out of here with this one. Los Lomos looking to close it out at the line, up by one at Dublin High School. A miss. And Kobe Toomey for the win. 79, 78. Oh, the crazy madcap antics at Dublin High School. What a win. I love the excitement. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again at 11. The latest news and weather always on KPX.com. Have a good evening.